self plug really really quick okay you guys i have a ten dollar webinar it's called brand like a pro i filmed it last weekend and it's available it's available in my description box and i'm really quickly just going to tell you these few things what's in it so one thing i tell you how to talk to your customers i give them a target audience ebook i also show you how i take my product photos and some hacks to take cheap product photos and guess what else i teach you how to grow your email marketing list and how to create a beautiful email to send to your customers so if you want it grab it down below it's in the description box now back to the video hey guys jay here if you are new to my channel i primarily talk about strategies to help you grow your business and i also showcase behind the scenes of my lash brand blink and wink me so in today's video i'm going to be sharing six tips with you to have a successful black friday raise your hand if you're ready to make coins for black friday just put your hand, like just raise your hand. Girl, me too, I'm ready. I'm ready to make coins for Black Friday. I know you're ready to make coins for Black Friday. That's why you clicked on this video. So if you are new here, go ahead and click that subscribe button down below. I'm telling you, I give the gems out year round, not just for Black Friday. But if you're ready to make some money for this Black Friday, stay tuned and let's get into this video. So my first tip for Black Friday is to set a budget, like set a budget. I know, I know you feel like you got to have endless amount of inventory and you got to spend endless amount of money on ads and you just got to spend, spend, spend. But set a budget. A budget will help you like come back down to reality. I know we're all stressed out. We all want to make our coins. I get that. But like you need to set a realistic budget or all of the money you make from Black Friday is literally going to go back to all the expenses that you have created coming up to black friday so you don't want that to happen so set a budget a realistic budget and i'm talking about get so detailed with it you literally know how much you're going to spend for everything so you should say i'm going to spend this much for inventory i'm going to spend this much for photography i'm going to spend this much on ads i'm going to spend this much on influencer marketing you should have a detailed budget list that way you know exactly where your money is going and you're just not like you know balling out on all the expenses for black friday my second tip is to plan ahead when you guys see this video it will be monday and then literally november the first will be next sunday and i'm gonna need you guys to go ahead and wrap up your plan at least go ahead and have the plan created for the first week of november i know you may not have everything figured out but you need to go ahead and figure out what you're going to be putting out that first week you no know, you want to go ahead and have that plan out so that you can just flow like so everything can just flow like of course it's going to be stressful but i feel like if you plan ahead then you could plan for success you know you're going to know how many posts you need what do you need to send in your email list? It's just gonna help you just flow better. So you guys don't procrastinate. Go ahead and get your plans out. I know I've seen a few Black Friday posts already from of course like bigger corporations and things like that. But I feel like small businesses, they're gonna start coming out slowly on November the 1st and you do not wanna be left behind. You wanna give people a chance to um, see what you're gonna be offering so that they can save their money so that they're ready like as a shopper people are already planning what they're gonna buy what they're gonna buy for themselves, what they're gonna buy for their friends their spouses that type of thing and you do not want to be missed like you want to be on the check my third tip is to review your data so it doesn't matter how long you've been in business if you've been in business for a month or if you've been in business for a year or three years you have some data that's available for Black Friday. So the things that you want to look at or the things you want to consider is your conversion rates, your abandoned carts, and your website visitors and how long people stay on your website and the most page viewed on your website. Those are the things that you want to view in the dashboard of your website. If you use Shopify, you can view all of those things under the, under the analytics, but you really want to, <laughs> I cannot talk. You really want to dive deep into your analytics. Everything else can lie, okay? Holding packages for two weeks to look like you, you know, selling out, all of that stuff can be a lie, but the numbers don't lie, okay? So you need to be looking at 
how you did last quarter i know we've been through a pandemic and some people may just launch but you need to look at these numbers to set realistic goals for what you want to make for black friday if you are a business and let's say you make a hundred dollars a month and then you say oh i want to make ten thousand dollars for black friday that isn't realistic if you're only making a hundred dollars a month a hundred dollars a month so like look at the numbers and see what could you do or how how much is it going to take you to double that like if you make a hundred dollars a month and then you say you want to make ten thousand for black friday that means you have to ten times your monthly sales for black friday like that's a lot that's a little unrealistic i'm not saying it can't happen but i'm saying like you want to think realistically so you can plan accordingly and if that do happen then it's gonna be like oh my god like mind blowing that that happened but if it doesn't happen you also don't go into like this you know deep business depression about like oh my god my brand didn't do this or it didn't you know i didn't make this much and you know i just feel like i failed that black friday if you set realistic goals like you can meet them or you can either achieve them or i don't think achieve was the word i'm looking for or um i can't think of the word you excel them <laughs> you would excel them so you want to take the data and you want to use it to make your black friday plan my next tip is to clean your site clean your site i already mentioned this before but you do not want to have sold out items on your site for black friday it just doesn't look good it's basically like i wasted my time to get here and now you showing me all these sold out items and i can't even find the items in stock do not have sold out items on your site now if the items just happen to sell out during black friday then great that's fine that's not what i'm talking about i'm talking about having previously sold out items just sitting you know chilling on your site just sold out like that's not what people are coming for on black friday people are coming to shop and put items in their cart and move accordingly because they're not only buying from you this black friday but they're buying from other businesses especially with coronavirus and that type of thing going on most people are going to be in the house shopping online so it's going to be like cyber monday 2.0 for black friday so you want to make sure that your site is clean you want to make sure that it's moving fast if you have shopify you can go into the back end it is under website where you go to customize website and it will show you how fast your website loads like it will show you how fast your website loads take those numbers into consideration and like test it out yourself like go on your website on your phone see how long it takes you to get to the home page see how long it takes you to get to shop see how long it takes you to get to check out like time yourself and then see you know is this too long of a process is this more than three clicks like it should be like boom 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 it, it shouldn't take you know 10 million clicks to get to the checkout page i shouldn't have to scroll down on my phone to find where i get to the shop page like all of that stuff should be like right here in your face like hello i'm here same thing on a desktop now you can see in your analytics this is why i said watch your analytics but you can see that most people are probably on mobile so you want your mobile view to be the cleanest and the easiest view. You want to create an easy buying experience for your customers. You don't want them to have to like, you know, play FBI agent to find some lashes or to find some hair. You want it to just be like, boom, right in your face. So clean up your website, start making your website graphics. You can make easy website graphics in canva some canva design videos that i will link down below but tip number six is to promote consistently like this is not the time to be slacking on instagram this is not the time to be talking about i just don't feel like posting today i just don't got nothing to post today like this is not the time people this is crunch time crunch time okay crunch time you better be posting every single day you better not miss a beat we not missing a beat we will rest after black friday okay but until black friday get here and passes and we get past cyber monday i want to see y'all posting every single day you know what i'm gonna challenge y'all to post every single day i need y'all to post at least once a day if you can go two to three please post two to three times a day 
Actually, matter of fact, I should see two to three times, two to three posts from y'all. Because if you can get on Instagram and you can scroll and you can get on Facebook and you can comment on these photos from your friends and watch people's stories and, you know, do what all you do, screenshot it for your group chat, all of that type of stuff, you can post on Instagram. It takes five seconds to make a post in Canva. Now, if y'all plan ahead, as I mentioned, you know about the second tip in this video you won't have to worry about it because you have already created the content for the days so all you literally have to do is plug and play plug and play plug and play okay and if you really truly can't get to your phone during the day use a app called buffer you can use buffer to schedule your post you can also use planali to schedule your post these are apps in the app store regardless if you have apple or um android but use a scheduler a scheduling app to help you post like i don't want to hear the excuses y'all better be posting y'all y'all better be posting for black friday okay i don't want to hear it i don't want to hear it my next tip is to create a gift guide again this is something you can do in Canva. You can plug and play in Canva. So what you want to do is create a fire, a flyer-like gift card. <laughs> I can't talk. A flyer-like gift guide for your customers to let them know what sales you are offering for Black Friday. That way, they don't have to think about it. They don't have. They don't have to guess about it. Anything like that. This also can be a way to build your email list because you can tell people like, "Hey, you want a sneak peek of what we're offering for Black Friday? Come join our email list or join my email list." If you guys aren't familiar with email lists or text message lists, that type of thing, I have a ten-dollar webinar that I previously filmed this weekend mm -hmm. and it's ten dollars i'll have it linked down below but you guys will be a okay my camera stopped but i have a ten dollar brand like a pro webinar that i filmed this weekend and i broke down email lists i even showed them how to create a email um on canva and how to plug it in and i also showed them the app i used to make a email pop up um but it's ten dollars it's called brand like a pro get it down below but yes you want to create a gift guide to share with your audience so that they can already prepare and plan what they want to get for black friday and you don't have to launch this the first week of november it can be the second week but you want to at least have something showcasing the items that you're going to have for black friday and my last tip is to plan for the week after Black Friday. So think about it. Everybody's going to spend all of their money for the week, that weekend, Friday to Monday. People are going to spend all their money. And after that, people may not be shopping anymore. Sales are going to be slow. There's not going to be a lot of interaction on your website. It's just something that's naturally going to happen because people aren't going to be shopping because they already spent their money for Black Friday. So what you want to do is plan accordingly. Like you want to think of what type of sales can I have after Black Friday? Can I have a, you know, did you miss it? Type of sale where people that didn't get to shop for Black Friday, they can come back and shop now after Black Friday. And it doesn't have to be, you know, the 40% off you did for Black Friday, but maybe it's 25% off or something like that. So if you want to do that, hold your inventory. When I say hold your inventory, I'm saying make sure that you have inventory available to do that after Black Friday. If you put everything on your site for Black Friday to Cyber Monday, and then the week after you have no inventory, you're not gonna make any money if there was even money to make. You're gonna be leaving money on the table because you have no inventory for that. So I'm not gonna say hold half of your inventory or anything like that, but just plan accordingly. If you know you want to have a sale after, hold some inventory for the sale after. Um, that way people are able to still shop while you you know wait to get that inventory in but yeah you guys those are my seven tips i think or eight maybe eight those are my eight tips for you guys for black friday make sure you check out that brand like a pro webinar it's only ten dollars and in that webinar i go over how to give your customers what they want how to create engaging captions i even show them how i take my product photos in the webinar i give them a whole like layout the example photo i even show them what i use to edit the photo it 
it going it's going down in the brand like a pro webinar and then lastly i teach how to um create or build your email list and how to create a email so yes down below it's ten dollars ten dollar girl ten dollars but yes i hope you guys enjoyed this video i hope you have already clicked that subscribe button and turned on your post notifications so you can know when i post my next video but with that being said i'll see you guys in my next video Bye.